So again, welcome. This is the Sunday prayer circle for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And I am Reverend Wendy Silvers and it's my joy and my honor. I love seeing where everybody is coming in from all around the world. You are here. And what I want to just say to everybody is that all faiths are welcome here. This is an all-inclusive love of God, love of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., because we know that this man has been primed and prepared to carry the mantle of President of the United States. So please know that whatever your faith is, you are so welcome here because we honor all of it. It is all welcome, all faiths welcome. So I'm going to let you know what we are going to do, the, the how this is going to roll out. So I'm going to first read something to you. Then I'm going to invite you to close your eyes and move into something that I have coined envisioning. And after the envisioning, I'm going to speak the word and then I will close it. And there will be time for announcements because we want you to know about we the people. So my dear powerful uh, mama warrior sister Sharon Jimenez is here and uh, and and we the people is something that you all need to know about so the link's going to be in the chat and then also if you have any questions at all you can email faith at teamkennedy.com and your email will be responded to because we are here for you. This is a community of lovers of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., lovers of freedom, lovers of God. So we're here to connect, to uplift, to celebrate, and to hold that space for Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as President of the United States. Can I get an amen? You can put it in the chat because that's what we are here for. That's what we have all been called forth. Yes, I know I have, for sure. So we're here to do this, to do this together. And uh, there aren't gonna be any um, uh, answers to questions, but please know that you can, again, send an email to faith at teamkennedy.com. You can put your questions in the chat because we do see them and we will get back to you in a timely fashion. So know that we hear you, we value you, and we're so glad you're here. That being said, please settle in. And, uh, and unless you're driving a car <laughs> or operating machinery, please do not close your eyes. In that case, just listen, listen with the inner ear and uh, to what I'm going to do. We're gonna now move into uh, the reading portion. So just going to take a breath here and invite you all to take a breath with me. And exhale. Oh, and just moving your awareness into your heart because we are all meeting in the heart. And we all recognize that this great man the future president, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., is a heart-centered visionary man. So we all join together in the heart, just resting there. And I'm gonna read these words to you. Activists and mystics are pioneers and adventurers. They leave the safer territory of comforting spirituality and charitable service and venture to the edges of personal and social transformation. They have a degree of longing and passion that makes some people uncomfortable. They have an unsettling degree of intensity. They ache for breakthroughs. They destabilize normality. They rock the boat of acceptability. They go off the radar screen of life's prescribed trajectories only to return bursting with ecstatic insight, fiery conscience, and new codes to rouse us from a sleepy conformity. And so that is each and every one who is here with us in this prayer aspect of, of the 
campaign, just moving into this beautiful place and space in consciousness. And now we're going to move into the envisioning. So as you are in your heart space, the place where love emanates, the place that allows each and all of us to connect, bring into your mind's eye this great man, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., and just surround him with love. Just project this love from your heart around him and see him as he journeys through this campaign. See him surrounded in love. See him surrounded in light, the love and the light of the creator surrounding him as he walks, as he hikes, whether by car, by bicycle, by train, by plane, by helicopter, by, by truck, whatever the mode of transportation, just see him surrounded in this light and this love of the creator. See him as he moves from home to car. See him as he's speaking to rallies and town halls, virtually and live. See the crowd opening up. Just feel the receptivity for him. See people that once had closed minds, closed ears. See their ears opening. Feel their hearts opening. Feel that there's a receptivity that is going before him as he moves from destination to destination. From his home to 1600 White House. Just see him moving step by step by step to 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Just see the way being made clear. See these steps that he is taking. See the crowds building and building and building. Everywhere he goes, there's a smile, there's a handshake, there's a warm reception. See ballots, see signatures on ballots, see the states just putting him on the ballot. See we the people just building, burgeoning, growing, bursting with people around the country. See the receptivity just swelling as he continues to move and blessing, blessing every single detail from the people that prepare his food, from the schedulers, from the press secretary, the communications, to the fundraising, to the virtual events, to the we the people, to the communities just opening their hearts and their minds to Robert F. Kennedy Jr. as President Kennedy. See him just moving stealthily, slowly, continuously, smoothly to the White House, to the Oval Office. See him and on inauguration day with his hand on the Bible. Just see the crowds. There cannot even be contained, but he is there radiant as the leader of the United States of America. See Cheryl Hines, first lady, see the family, see the team. Just see that this, this complete sweeping around the country, just going beyond any person's idea and just see him smiling and radiant. See him becoming president of the United States. See him in the White House. See him in his first hundred days. See him keeping his word as he continues to reform and transform these outdated systems. Just see them falling away. See him smiling. See the first lady smiling. See the family. Just see him in the White House and feel into what does that feel like inside your being. Feel the joy and the jubilation and the celebration. Feel that anticipation and the expectation. Just feel it. Feel into that. Allow that to just move beyond your very body and your being in the home that you're in. Feel that just spreading throughout the land. Just move right into that feeling because we know that this feeling goes before, that this vibratory frequency just ripples out across this universe. And it is powerful and it is influential and it is impactful. So just feel that jubilation of seeing him 
in the White House, seeing him sitting there in the Oval Office, see all the people celebrating. And now just join me in this moment of prayer. So very grateful and thankful for this magnificent space that has been established here by this agreement, knowing that where two or more are gathered in the name and the nature of that which is spoken, that which is spoken must be made manifest for that is universal law, not man-made law, universal law. So knowing that each and all of us come together in this united state of agreement, touching in consciousness and agreeing right here, right now, that this great, grand and glorious God, this great presence that is called by so many names in so many different languages as and is the one God, the one God of all, that this God is my life. It's the life of each and every person here. It's the life of Robert F. Kennedy Jr., our future president. And in this unified field of oneness, how easy it is for me to speak this word, blessing RFK Jr. as he continues to journey along this campaigning trail, absolutely knowing that this presence, this God presence is right with him, that this presence goes before him to make smooth any jagged edges. It walks alongside him so that he knows he is never, ever alone and blesses and transmutes everything that has come before this present moment into that which is for his highest and greatest good. This is what I know is the very activity of his life. He is God-centered. He is God surrounded. He is absolutely poured into by this divine presence. And he is answering the soul call to move forward and be the president of the United States. So I bless every breath. Every breath is a prayer. I know that prayer works. Prayer is answered. So as he moves through this journey from here into the White House, it is all divinely guided. He is divinely guided. He is divinely guided, guarded, protected, directed, sustained, and maintained by this infinite, invisible presence that so loved itself that it recreated itself and calls itself by his name, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. He is answering the call of his soul. He is anointed and appointed to move forward and be this leader of the free world and absolutely implement the things that he is absolutely devoted to for the highest and the greatest good of all the citizens of the United States and all the citizens of the world. So I know where there may have been any seeming hinges, obstruction, or block to his campaign, all of these, these walls are just dissolving. They are made of sand. His platform is absolutely rooted in God, rooted in good, rooted in love. So I know there is no thing that can come nigh his dwelling place, for he dwells in the secret, sacred place of the most high good, the most high God, the most high I love. This is the activity, the very emphasis and the very foundation of his campaign. So we bless every single aspect from the policy writers to the policy director, to the communications, to we the people, to the fundraisers, to engagement, to the virtual events, to the scheduler, to, to his assistants, to all of the people that are all engaged and involved in supporting this great man and moving into what is his divine role for he is here as a way shower and he is waking up the world. People are seeing and hearing and sensing and knowing that he is the one for the job. So I know that his way is blessed and that he is surrounded by a love that is so profound, a love that literally bursts and sustains galaxies. It is the love that is coursing through him every cell, every Adam, every organ, every action, every function of his body, mind, and his spirit is filled to overflowing with this divine presence. I know this to be the very activity of his life. And there is nothing, there is no thing that can come between him and his divine purpose. Nothing can. His mission is blessed. And as I know this to be the very truth of his life, that he is surrounded, that he is infused, in, imbued, suffused by this presence. I know this too for Cheryl Hines. I know this too for their children. I know this too for their families. I know this too for Team Kennedy, that this is a divine appointment that each and every person is saying yes to. And that this groundswell of love, this groundswell of love for God, love for freedom, love for justice, love for the, the United States is compelling and propelling each and every person. May it be like a mustard seed for those people that may not be able to see it at this moment. May it be like a mustard seed that is just happening within them right now that as I speak this word that is flowing through me, I know that people are waking up around the country. 
Ears are perking, minds are expanding, hearts are opening. So I know that everything, everything is indeed working together for the highest and greatest good of RFK Jr., Cheryl Hines, their kids, their families, Team Kennedy, and all of the platforms. This is what I know, this is what I stand in, this is what I claim is the very activity of the campaign. Oh, yes, yes. This and more continues to unfold, that there is such a receptivity within the hearts and the minds of Americans, within the uh, hearts and minds of all the people of the world that see, that see beyond appearances, that hear behind, beyond the audible, that catch this vibratory frequency in their heart, that this is a God call. So each and every person is answering a God call in whatever way their God shows up to them. For there is no other power or presence in this great God. And I know that RFK lives from this place. He trudges the happy road of destiny every day. He is open and available to the sunlight of the spirit, beaming through and leading, guiding and directing him. And so we just completely encircle him. We encircle the future first lady, Cheryl Hines. We encircle their kids. We encircle team Kennedy, these souls that continue to show up every day to support this mission. And again, I say there is no thing, no person that can deter this mission from being made manifest because this is a soul mission. This is a God mission. This I know, this I declare, this I accept. And as I know this to be the very activity of this campaign, it ripples out into all of the people who are emissaries emissaries of this campaign as, as harbingers, as architects, as, as sacred midwives of a world that indeed works for the highest and the greatest good, that they are each and every one being called to go forward and carry this message. And so it is with an open and grateful heart that I declare that this word goes forth and it is made manifest. It is not a was or a will be or a should be. It is an is. It is made manifest. RFK is president of the United States, his family safe and surrounded, protected, directed, that this is this campaign, this presidency is a divine idea in the mind of God whose time has come. And so we simply surrender everything we think we know and just continue to walk forward in this direction, doing all that we can, all that we are called for to support this. Mm. And so, with deep and abiding gratitude, I simply allow this word to be, knowing it is done, knowing it is so, I say, and so it is. Amin, amen, ashe, aho, mahalo, shalom, salam, hotep, hallelujah. It is done. Now. So be it. And so gently bringing your awareness back into this virtual loving room. Thank you all for being here today. We will be here every Sunday. Remember, if there is anything or any support that you would like, please email faith at teamkennedy.com. Please go to We the People. You can find that on the website and it's been placed in the chat and we will make sure it is in the email so you see it. Keep sending your love. You can send love donations. We are here for you. This is a powerful community and we know that this great man, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is our future president. So we hold this. We hold this vision high. Thank you all for being here. Peace and blessings. <laughs>